thousands of people took to London streets to show there's a strong public support for an ambitious deal on climate change in Copenhagen. I spoke to some of them about the reasons they were there. Important presence, um, but it's you know such an important issue um, that you know with with kind of mass demonstrations, it's a very physical presence. Uh, um, so yeah, I think it's just important to turn out, and the more numbers of people are coming out that can, you know obviously concerned about climate and for there to be to a visual impact that can you know make the news, um, then it it it's, you know, sends a very strong image across. I don't think much will actually happen at Copenhagen, but it's more layers of pressure and social pressure that, you know, I think will make a, a difference. And if not now, then there'll be uh, something hopefully very soon um, that, that does kind of put forward. It's probably a little bit too late anyway, but it's, uh, yeah, good to at least voice uh, and, and get more and more numbers involved. And they came in numbers. Some came for global justice for animals and humans alike. Well, basically for the third world, but also I'm aware that the Hudson Bay polar bear uh, population is is going to be decimated. I mean, it's going down already, and they're just not getting enough fat for the hi a proper hibernation. And uh, but it's a universal symbol. But basically here for the third world because uh, humanity is in for an awful awful time if we don't get it together. And do you think this will have any difference on uh, uh, an agreement in Copenhagen? Possibly not this time round. I think a lot of people need to get proactive very quickly because uh, I, I've been doing the airports recently and people have got to change their, their style of living. Um, it, it's got to come from us the top. Um, I don't know. I think it shows that there's a huge public support that change there's a big, big changes need to be made but others didn't agree cooling process as opposed to a, a warming one and um and yeah so I, I, i'm just we're, we're here to get people to ask questions about what they're being told in the mass media but what is one man against the money Noticed. So hopefully it can help to make things better. As the daylight disappeared, campaigners from Climate Camp decided to continue the protest by camping out at Trafalgar Square. I asked one of them why. I've been part of the uh, climate camp movement for um, the last year and I was quite involved with the uh, action at Blackheath in the summer and I also went up recently to um, Nottingham to do the uh, uh, blockade or whatever of the power station or trying to get in the power station. So, and I just think uh, what I like about climate camp is that um, they, they, it's a direct action group and I think the issues are so serious that actually direct action is required in the, in the sort of tradition of the suffragettes or uh, apartheid in South Africa, I think it's direct action that's going to make all the difference. I think in Copenhagen there's going to be a cop-out. I think there's going to be only, um, a, you know, it's just going to be a PR job and I'm really pessimistic about it. But let's keep our fingers crossed. I hope. The plan was to stay for two days to continue putting pressure on politicians to agree in Copenhagen. But will it make any difference? As I have witnessed, the public appears to be behind a cap on greenhouse gases, but pessimistic about getting it.